Hello everyone, Jack Hollywood here, and welcome to Reroll and Stitch on the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, heavily compressed movie clips aside, if you're familiar with Trouble in Paradise, which we took a look at yesterday, this one's a completely different story compared to that. Because for one thing, this game story isn't directly based off the, off the film. Hey, where are you taking me? Let me go! Stitch, help! Yeah, as you can see gameplay-wise, <laughs> It plays very similar to running gu run guns like Metal Slug and Contra. <laughs> hence why, hence why I'll, why I'll be using the Metal Slug soundtracks a lot for this video. <laughs> like very early on I mentioned that this game story wasn't directly based off the movie. Well, turns out this is a brand new story ba based on the Lilo, and the Lilo and Stitch characters and universe, which pretty much gave Digital Eclipse freedom to do pretty much anything they wanted with these characters. But yeah, also talking gameplay-wise, Yes, so far it it plays very similar to Metal Slug. In, in fact, in, in fact, a lot of the later levels play play very similarly to to other games. Like you have the R button to throw your grenades, stuff like that. And funnily enough, you, you also have, have a life bar. <laughs> certain 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 enemies can do can do certain amounts of damage. I've 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 always struggled to get that, that extra life, don't know why. But yeah, but yeah, certain enemies can do certain amounts of damage depending on what type they are. Like regular guys will will do just one hit out of out of the four you're allowed you're allowed to take you're allowed to take before dying. Grenades will deal two, and and even though they're very wet very rare until you get to the end game. There are actually a few enemies that that can actually one-shot you. And funnily enough, like I remember first first playing this game as a kid because because of because I thought, "Oh man, we were in Stitch on on the Game Boy Advance. I've so got to take a look at this." And funnily enough, this game is actually actually like pretty difficult for for a Disney game. You know, considering it's a Metal Slug clone, like I guess that that is to be expected. But still, I I really wasn't expecting it to be to be like the Cup Souls of man. Disney games.
<laughs> but yeah, first, first attempt to play it as a kid, I was just like, I don't like this game. This game sucks. Because, because you know how things are as a kid. You know, you can't beat a game that, that's too hard for you. That means it auto automatic automatically sucks, right? <clears throat> well, turns out when you revisit it at, at an older and at an older age with more experience, kind of like what I'm doing, it turns out it's actually a pretty decent game for what it does. In fact, in fact, the only design flaw I can really think of is that Stitch can't can't duck and shoot at the same time. You know, a common a common trope that lies within all the, all the other run and guns I've played. Sometimes the hitboxes on these explosions can feel kind of biased. Yeah, you'll what you'll probably want to be picking up the machine gun power up a lot because because not only can it make pretty pretty quick mince meat out of your out of your enemies, but it can also <coughs> shoot through rocks and above platforms too. I probably could have avoided that, but... <clears throat> yeah, that's what I meant, meant about the explosion hitboxes be being biased. <laughs> like, that was a lot of frames after, after, after the grenade had, had hit the ground and it still ended up taking t two points of damage off me. Hey, you stupid head. Let we all go. She belongs here with her family. Too late, shrimp. She's been sent to the mothership, and I'll make sure you don't follow. Now, Stitch will make sure you don't hurt anyone else. Then Stitch is going to get Lilo back. Man, I wish I was Chris Sanders. <laughs> but yeah, first boss. He, he, he follows a very basic pattern. Basically, when you get close to him, all he does is is just jump up in the air and, and create a, a, a little bit of a shock wave that you have to jump over. He can also attack attack with his electric hook, but but I really don't end up showing that, seeing as how it's, it's just so easy to, to cheese this guy. And yeah, stage one done and that's our first movie clip unlocked. Goodbye, ugly head. Now Stitch will go and find Lilo. I know how to fly this ship. It's just perfect for Stitch. Don't worry, Leo. Stitch always rescues his family. Uh-oh, where am I? This looks like my home, but it feels wrong. Yeah, now we're playing Tomb Raider music of all things. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I p played, decided to play Tomb Raider music here. <clears throat> In fact, Lilo's levels play more like Oddworlds than anything. But but yeah, to be honest, I've never really been a big fan of Lilo's levels, and I probably still aren't. Lilo. This spaceship is a giant bug laboratory. You must find a way to escape. <clears throat> but yeah, compared to Stitch, Wheelow is pretty much defenseless. Mm. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. She she can attack with with scrump with the B button, but but it's really just about as useful as the cane from Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. And, and when you and even funnier is when you consider this game was actually intended for kids. Guess what? There are no checkpoints in Lilo's levels whatsoever. <clears throat> At least with Stitch, you you get to s you actually get to <laughs> start off from the from the start of each area when you run out of lives. But in Lilo's case, you actually have to make it from point A to point B all in one life. And that bubble's pretty much an, an, insta an instant kill. Oh yeah, you can also hold R to sneak. Very over overly exaggerated sneak sneaking animation I've ever seen in a game. I don't think I've found much of an easy way to get past the green guys yet. Like, the most I can do is to just make an attempt to jump over them when they come lurging for you, but that's about it. And yeah, mosquitoes are, an, are apparently enemies in this game. Is it because <laughs> Pleakley mentions that the, the mosquitoes are apparently an endangered species? Well, if they are endangered, like I certainly won't be miss I certainly won't be missing them, that's for sure. How am I ever going to get off this ship? I wish I wish Stitch were here to help me. Three other prisoners, just like you freed me. They may be able to help you find a way home. Zero death bonus. Mission complete. Wahoo! Here I come. <laughs> this ship will help, help. Will get me to Lilo quick. Uh oh! Stitch sees trouble ahead. I didn't know Stitch was basically Clonora in disguise. But yeah, here's here's the last unique unique type of stage, which obviously, as you can tell from from the music, plays a lot like Konami's Gyrus. <laughs> you know, you know, move around. Move around in a circle, dodge asteroids, shoot things for no reason. You know, that kind of stuff. I find it kind of funny and pathetic how how these stages and Lilo's are probably the the only ones I'm capable of 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 beating without without dying once. Guess that means I just suck at running guns. Period. 
There's the ship that took Lilo. Stitch is almost there. Oof. Main stabilizer has been hit. Stitch has to crash land on the asteroid. Wake up, fella. You've been in a bad accident. Welcome to Scum, an asteroid junkyard. Your ship was totally destroyed in the crash. You might want to try looking for another ship at the, at the disposal tower. Be careful, though. The strangers don't like the locals don't like strangers much. So yeah, now we're back to Metal Slug Stitch, complete with a complete with a brand new vehicle of his own. You can actually take this fruit. Fr you cannot. You can actually take take this take this to through the whole level if you want, minus the boss, but. Yeah, you've just got to be careful not not to get it destroyed. Yeah, that that's probably the first type of enemy that can one-shot you. Luckily, I an I ended up annihilating it before <laughs> before it <laughs> before it could pretty much insta kill me. But yeah, you yeah you do have to be caref careful when it when it corners you like that because it can insta kill your vehicle too. That's fun, I guess. Every time I see one of those things, I always get kind of scared that they're going that they're going to kill me first. And yeah, going back to the difficulty, like it's very surprising for a kid's game of all things. I don't know how Digital Eclipse expected kids to to finish this at at, at like the age of four, four or five years old, but yeah, Stitch's levels can be pretty pretty relentless. Lilo's levels are pretty much stealth-based stages that you have to do all, all, all in one perfect run. It's, it's just re relentless, isn't it? I don't think I've, I've ever seen how many man how many damage these guys do if they whack you. I want the extra life.
but yeah, brutal di brutal difficulty for its intended for its target audience aside. I actually think this is this is actually a pretty decent game. Probably even better than Trouble in Paradise was, to be honest. I don't think I've re really understood the rules of those guys' bullets. And I've died to, to pretty much the most basic enemy there is. What a shame. Yeah, if you if you <laughs> Yeah, if you've just seen me die twice in a row that quickly, well, you should probably see me trying to play Metal Slug. It's not much of a pretty sight, I'll be honest. <laughs> because I'm so washed up at that game these days. Oh yeah, this is, this is the area where if you want to aim for like 100%, you know like, all movie clips and, and unlockables. This is pretty much the area where you shouldn't, you shouldn't be destroying barrels all the time because, see, now there's an extra life that I'll no, never be able to get because I just destroyed that barrel I could have jumped on. Yeah, and if, and if I destroyed that barrel too, I never would have gotten that photo. Yeah, all the unlockables you, you get are pretty much highly, highly compressed movie clips and, and screenshots. But hey, it's a, it's a Game Boy Advance game. What are you going to do? And go, coming up to our second boss. You want my ship? Well, you'll take it over my oozing lack of skeleton. I don't know if the machine gun actually actually does that men, that, that much damage to, damage to the bosses on on purpose, or or it's that much of a game breaker against them. But yeah, this guy also follows a basic pattern. Yeah, he he always moves over to, to the side, flies in a diagonal position, maybe does that a few more times then, then just shoots Suze at you. I think grenades also deal a great chunk of damage against bosses too, but I know I don't really use them simply because it's a cheap tactic in my book. Ah, my ship! Come back with my ship! How about now? If I can find a radio, I could call Stitch to help me. Wevo. I think they are keeping us as prisoners to feed the mosquitoes. The other prisoners could help if you if you rescue them.
yeah, considering a certain something was going around at that time, I don't think it was the best idea to for Disney to make a plot where the main villains are mosquitoes. But yeah, we're gonna be freeing all of this guy's friends because they because they can pretty much help clear a path for us. So yeah, very 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 big help right right at the start of the level. Also, we get a nice little gravity mechanic, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Just punches it twice and then it dies. I mean, I do consider consider Wheelow's levels a nice little change of pace from from Stitches, but yeah, I've I've never really really been that big on them. I don't know why I always wait for an opening there since, since that guy never moves, but... Yeah, I guess he never notice, notices you from behind, but from behind. Amazing commentary from me, just one minute of pure silence after I got done saying a thing. So yeah, we're just gonna sneak right by these guys. We're not gonna end the, end the level right away, we're gonna, we're gonna get this photo first and then... Stitch, I'm having a great adventure, but I need your help. I need your credit card. Stitch will be there as soon as we will look behind you. Not a very appropriate time to play that tune, is it? We is in trouble. Stitch must find much must find her fast. Ow! More enemy ships are approaching. So yeah, one gyrus themed level later, we're going to find ourselves in the final level of the game. Not much to say about this particular level since it since it's pretty much the same thing as the other one. Well, I can say that, that the that the stage won't pretty much advance unless you kill unless you kill those guys who like to go, follow you around in a circle with you.
I think that's the end of it. Yep, that's it. So now we we can finally move on to the final level. Ah, little girl, or should I call you Mosquito Food? You won't fraud my plot to genetically change mosquitoes into Mosquito Warriors. I'll what's that? Ah, you fool, Stitch. Stitch, you fool, you'll cause my ship to crash. Eh? Ah, ah, ah. I, Dr. Pestis, will release, release my horde of Mesecto warriors on you and this planet. Rio is the perfect hostage. Don't you dare follow us. Follow us here and follow them anyway. So yeah, final mission. Start. Oh yeah, you re you remember those guys from from way back in stages one and one and four? Now they can actually one shot you. <laughs> so yeah, obviously since this since this is the final level. <laughs> All these previous all these previous enemies take no prisoners, mainly because of their increased damage. So yeah, be ready for be ready for anything. Those guys that shoot grenades could pop up pop up from on from off screen at any time. Yeah, if you're never, if you're wondering why why I was never able to finish this game as a kid, well, just look just look no further than gameplay like like this right here. The mosquitoes aren't really too bad. They pretty much just spread fire un underneath you. It, like if if you move in a panic, it, it or or if you aren't direct directly below them, it will be a problem. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, they're not that much of a problem. You are useless as a hostage, Lilo. Time to squash you. Why the two twos? Stitch you worm. Let go of my foot. <sighs> Quick, Lilo, run! We have to find a way home. So this is this is the first of two or the two auto scrollers. That we go through before fi actually fighting Doctor Pestus. While they're both somewhat boring, boring in, in a way, this one's actually actually kind of interesting since since it requires you requires you to switch be between Sti Lilo and Stitch a lot. Stitch Stitch can't. Can't walk in water, but but is a great jumper. However, Wilo can walk in water, but but she's not that much of a good jumper. So it's their per so, so it's their perks that that'll require you to switch a lot.
or or rather switch between them a, a lot. So yeah, while the switching does does make this a a, a pretty fun auto scroller, despite it being a little bit boring. The next one, there's just nothing interesting to say about it. Oh, yeah, here we are. For some reason, we outrun Dr. Pestis for now, and and now we're in so, sort of a wheel-like thing. But yeah, this is probably the most boring auto-scroller auto I've seen in any run and gun. Just keep blindly fire firing at stuff until you eventually reach the end, that's it. <laughs> I even go go so far as to give this exciting music, that's how boring it is. But yeah, you you can you can press jump jump twice. Jumped jump Yeah, you can you can press jump twice to, to switch between the ground and, and ceiling, but that that's that's pretty much all, all I can say about it really. It's boring, boring. Very, very boring. Yeah, this auto scroller just goes on for way too long to be to be somewhat enjoyable. Stitch will make you pay for hurting Leo. She's my Ohana. But yeah, here we are finally at the final battle with Dr. Pestis. Now, he'll usually do... He'll mainly do three things. For one, he'll fly above you and... and drop bombs on you with somewhat biased hit hitboxes. He'll pretty much skid on the ground like you just saw. And he'll pretty much fire a, a bunch of bombs out of his chest. And obviously, since he's the final boss, let's just say he does not want to go down without a fight, because when you get him down to half health, he... He suddenly becomes Sanic for whatever reason, and and decides to go twice as fast. Yep, yep, here we go, second phase. Funny thing is, I don't actually know if this guy has a clear pattern that just keeps re repeating it or not. Like, some of it I can I can kind of see coming, but for the most part, since I haven't really f really figured out figured out his pattern yet, most of it continues to be completely random to me.
But yeah, we finally got him. And there's our last movie clip. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch, you have defeated Dr. Pestis. And saved this planet. We are in your debt. Take this ship and have a safe journey home. Hooray! <laughs> But yeah, 8 out of 8 pictures, 4 out of 4 movies. And yeah, that was We Own Stitch on the Game Boy Advance, completed 100% very easily. I do have a lot of things to say about this game, although not all of them are positive. Well, for one, the, dif the difficulty... I don't know if Digital Eclipse really got the memo at first, but considering this is a game that that was targeted towards kids, how many kids do you think are, are going to be able to finish this game, provided they, they actually have famil previous experience with other run-and-gun games like Metal Slug and Contra, or maybe even Cuphead si since since that's the, lo the most recent one off my mind. You know, it... And considering Wilo's levels don't, don't give you any checkpoints whatsoever, and, and Stitch's only checkpoints are at the start of each area... You know... It's just... You know, good luck getting your four-year-old son to beat to beat something like this if he's not good at video games. But aside from that, the game's actually a pretty good Metal Slug clone. It gets its gameplay spot on. It's satisfying to hear everything get blown to bits. Well. Well, that doesn't ha that doesn't happen in in game, but you get the deal. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and let's take a look at the highly compressed movie clips and screenshots we just unlocked. <laughs>